Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. I'm Calypso and Twin Flames. I'll be doing a reading for you. Let's go ahead and check in on the energies. Today is Saturday the 2nd. So this reading will load on the 3rd, tomorrow. We're going to do a you versus them. So... That is how we're doing our Twin Flame reading. So let's go ahead and get a couple cards out to see where this energy is, where we're heading, um, how we're connecting to it, etc., etc. Okay. I'm sorry for any background noise that you guys may hear. I am doing this reading in the afternoon instead of early in the morning just because of... Uh, I feel like it. I'll probably be going to sleep early tonight, so. All right, let me see. We have Heart Home and Deep Quiet. So Heart Home, Compassion, Deep Quiet, Meditation, and Stillness. Twin Flames, I'm feeling like there's something that you're getting really into. Um, Possibly some type of meditation, not even a meditation. It's just like you're keeping something quiet, something about your home life, something about the, I could be speaking to some twin flames that are newly reconnected, you, you newly united or reunited. At the bottom of the deck, we have galactic mushroom divine matrix. So something has happened in divine time and something is happening in the 3D. Something could feel a little um drug induced something could feel a little like like you're just in like the mist of something like i'm getting a lot of sex here for somebody let's go ahead and keep going what is happening here spirit so there's, so you guys could be keeping your home life very, very quiet right now and just dwelling in the energies. We have bushfire fury. Somebody's fucking pissed. I could feel this card wanting to come out. And then we have, because there's been a major change here. Somebody's not fully aware of what's going on. Um. Okay, let me keep trying to keep going here. All right. So there's a change in the wind, some, some some type of upheaval that somebody's pissed about. But this could be a third party. This could be somebody on the outside looking in. I feel like somebody's trying to say catch somebody up or show evidence or proof of something for because they're pissed at somebody. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming out on this person's side with the Ten of Wands. So there's a new, somebody took an opportunity, even though it was a huge burden to walk away from something else. We have the Eight of Cups coming out here. Somebody took a huge risk to leave another situation. So this could be a third party right here is what I'm definitely was feeling to begin with. And somebody's very pissed that this person walked away from them. To a new love, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. This person went towards their twin flame. Ace, the Queen of Cups is coming out. Then we have the Hangman. Somebody definitely was stuck and had to see something from a different perspective in order to realize where their wish fulfillment lies. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse here. So there is some healing taking place on this person's side. Um, they could have broke somebody else's heart. Yeah, lovers in reverse. Somebody made a choice here in love. So when this three of swords comes out in reverse, especially with the lovers being here, which is the card of choice, this is telling me that someone chose. Um, they were in two minds about it at first, but they did choose. And sometimes this in reverse for me is meaning that somebody else's heart's broke, not the person who I'm speaking to. So you could have broke someone else's heart by making this choice. Yeah, someone decided that they wanted a new beginning here. 
something that they didn't have to force and something that was not quite over with. So um, this is giving me twin flames coming from separation, possibly dealing with third parties and then coming into union. Let me try to fix this a little bit. Okay. Well, let's do this side. Oh. So you guys are having to put yourself where you feel you resonate with. I'm putting it person A, person B. I don't know who's who. I don't know who's the divine masculine. I don't know who's the divine feminine. Just put yourself where you feel like the energy resonates more. If you're the someone who walked away from a third party to have a new opportunity or a new beginning with your person, then that's what it is. All right, let's go ahead and get this energy for person B. We have person B's holding on to the past, regretful, remorseful, but seeing not really, there's guilt and shame here. Somebody's looking at all the negatives of this relationship, but in the back of their mind, they still have that two of cups there. We have nine of wands coming out. This person's been, person's B's been through the ringer over here is what I'm getting. They've been going through this, this situation for a long time. This person has gone through a lot. Ooh. We have the two of wands. And then we have the six of wands. Somebody was recognizing the path that they chose was a little hard. And it ended up leaving a wake of misery is what I'm getting. We have the seven of wands here. Somebody's seven to the six. It's a lot of wands over here. And then we have the temperance. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups, queen of cups. So this person is thinking about this person heavily with regret realizing that the road and the path that they chose to pursue this twin flame union has been very difficult, riddled with obstacles and blockages. This person has found peace and balance and patience here though. So they're standing their ground. They're being successful in, you know, their defense of themselves. This person's not going to be taken for a fool, but they chose a path here. And they've endured a lot and they, they're looking now. It's like this person is questioning to see if this queen of cups on this side was worth it. There's some type of karma is getting play, getting ready to play out here. Justice is going to be served and things are about to balance back out in this connection. Somebody can't escape the truth. Three cards in, three cards in. We have the fool in reverse over here and we have the fool in the upright over here. So this person, three cards in, is ready to take the risk. This person, three cards in, is not sure if, if they're ready to take a risk or not. But they know they can't escape this, but they're wondering, was it worth it, is what I'm getting. This person, person B could feel like person A was just is just not ready to give or doesn't want to give or didn't want to give in the past. But there's definitely something changing here and there. It's hidden. It's not readily known. And somebody could be definitely protecting themselves. We got groundedness and the sun coming out. Our gravity, groundedness, sun, light. It's coming to light how heavy something is or how heavy something has been to carry. I think this person over here, person B, is realizing how much they really loved this person or how much they really did give to this situation or how much they really held on to this situation. Okay, let's do some clarification here. Um, what am I clarifying with? Let's start with person A. So person A over here saw what they needed to do to heal, saw what they wanted and hoped for, 
they had to really re um evaluate with this hangman what it is that they wanted what this wish fulfillment really looked like to them and it looked like the queen of cups it looks like something they wanted to receive and give love to um and this mean this meant that they had to walk away from something else that was creating stress and burdens on them or was possibly very hard to leave for this new opportunity could have broke somebody's heart in the process Show me the star. Why is this here for person A? We have the five of pentacles. Exactly. Walking away from somebody. In order to get healing and their wish fulfillment, um, they had to leave something. And as simple as that, they there was some type of plan that this person put into play to make this play out. Show me the hanging man. We have the five of cups showing up on their side as well too. This they knew they were holding on to something here too even though there had been a lot of turmoil chaos whatever happened in this twin flame relationship and nobody's gonna sit up here and tell me that no oh twin flame relationships are perfect hell no why you think they separate there's lessons that need to be learned people are toxic people have toxic ways people have childhood trauma that they have to work on the twin flame journey is not rainbows, cupcakes, and unicorn glitter. No. This person was had to realize over here with this hangman, they had to see something from a different perspective. And for me, I feel like that different perspective is why couldn't they let this go? There was something they were holding on, on this to this person that they couldn't let go. And we're going to go deeper into that. Nothing else made them happy here. Nothing else made them happy. Nothing else was reciprocal. Nothing else was wish fulfillment here. We have all these in reverse. Nothing else was worth a risk. But they still wasn't sure if this was for them because it was taking so long. There's definitely a third party here. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody rejected a third party and walked away from them. Yeah, this was a mistress. Let the burdens go to control of their life and come out of separation with somebody, out of separation and out of confusion. So now I'm getting here this Queen of Cups um showing up on both sides here underneath the deck here and actually in the spread on this person a side is telling me that there is a third party that is the only court card that has showed up eight of cups eight of wands Someone told someone that they were leaving them. They did. They closed out the cycle. They're leveling up and going to... They learned the lesson that was needed to be learned here. Now we see the King of Wands. Show me the Ten of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles, 888. And then we have Justice in Reverse. Yeah, somebody knew something wasn't fair. They kept trying to work on something here with this third party person and it just wasn't adding up. It wasn't balancing out. It wasn't equaling anything. It wasn't fair. It wasn't equal give and take. This part, somebody left that situation to go to a new opportunity or to go towards their twin flame. We have the page of wands here. Someone was told that they had a new opportunity somewhere else. They learned of this new opportunity, a new possibility for to gain clarity on something. Nine of Wands in reverse. Maybe how to make something easier or take. I'm getting make something worth it. Make this because we have the Nine of Wands in reverse here. They have the Nine of Wands here on their side. It's like somebody's trying to learn or understand. I, it's like somebody understands the burden that somebody had, that this person, person B, had went through this whole time. 
they learned of the burden. It's like they recognize it. Okay, I'm not going to be able to show you guys these cards because they're the sexual magic tarot deck and they're probably got nudity on them. So just trying to stick with YouTube guidelines, even though my channel is not monetized, so it really doesn't matter, I guess. I really don't know what the stipulations is. All right, let's see why temperance is here for person B. We have the six of pentacles. So somebody has learned to give to themselves here is what I'm getting. Someone learned to fill their own cup. Someone had to realign with themselves is what I'm getting here. The devil. Yeah, somebody had to get rid of some type of toxic. Oh, the queen of cups again. What the fuck? I didn't even see this fall when I clicked the table and the devil was just at the bottom. But then I looked and saw this there. This Queen of Cups is a motherfucker. She's here three times. And now with the Devil and the Three and the King of Cups. So this is definitely giving me karmic. So the love between these two, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, um, with the Devil there, this is like a trauma bond is what I'm getting. A fucking trauma bond to so these two people connected and grew in love together through some type of traumatic experience that both of them shared. Simple as that. Get that shit out of here. Anyway, uh, show me the seven of wands, person B. We have the two of wands again coming out. Two of wands. Somebody chose the path to block or defend themselves. Hold on. Okay, so that's not correct. It's not that they chose the path to block or defend themselves. It's that they were in defensive. They were in a defensive stance or very defensive against this person because of the past that the path that they chose before, which could have had something to do with that trauma bonding with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups here. It's like two, two, two. Someone chose another love and left this person alone, it seems like, to work on something else. Uh-huh. So this person is defensive. Person B became defensive because they felt like someone chose someone else. Someone chose a toxic connection over their love their true love all right show me the six of wands we have the three of swords yeah this person is realizing here too that they broke their heart it's like both sides are realizing some of the damage that they've caused on both sides and that's what has to happen, especially people have to take accountability, take responsibility for their role in a relationship because it takes two people to tangle. It takes two people to react and act and, you know, come together and you make a decision and I make a decision and we're just feeding. So we both got to take responsibility in, in that. Four of swords in reverse. Somebody's uh, coming back. But they're, they're having success realizing how, how broken they were, how heartbroken they were, how attached to this situation was, and possibly also to how they hurt this person in some ways. Show me this two of wands. Seven of wands again, repeating. So there is something with this too. We got the seven of wands, two of wands, and then we have the, seven, the two of wands, seven of wands here with the ace of swords in reverse. So when the path was blocked down here, so when the path was blocked down here, the path was blocked down here. It seems like some 
balance needed to be happening, some patience need to be had, heartbreak had to be had. Look, there's a third party here. Let me cover her boobs up. It's almost like somebody broke someone's heart intentionally or someone thought that someone broke their heart intentionally. But that's not the truth. Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody had got false information or had a false knowing of that, 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 that it happened on purpose. Show me this Nine of Wands. Six of Cups. Nine of Wands. So somebody been through the fucking ringer longing and loving on this loving for this person longing reminiscing it's been a long journey of loving longing and reminiscing for this person two of cups again at the bottom of the deck yeah show me this five of cups Yeah, somebody had to choose another path because this path was blocked. And I think that and then now we have the King of Swords over here. With the Knight of Cups. There, there could have been some type of deception or in communication about what somebody really wanted to do here as far as a love offer. And then we have here the King of Swords. I'm not understanding what this is trying to say with this King of Swords. I, maybe somebody held on to the past because they felt like it was the right thing to do. And then over here, somebody realized this person was holding on to the past. And holding on to this connection, having hope for this connection, because they really did love them. So if there was some misconceptions of if this was true love, real love, twin flame, soulmate, whatever they thought it was, it's becoming clear now to both sides what this really is. And that's what this changes, but somebody else is fucking pissed about it. This queen of cups. Could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Show me the star, Five of Pentacles. Five of Cups again. We got Five of Cups out here three times. So there's a lot of guilt and regret here. A lot of guilt and regret. Five, five, five is talking about major changes. King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone felt very defeated here when it came to uh, claiming a new opportunity. I also feel like somebody was trying to block or hold uh, the, a masculine back from claiming this new opportunity. But it seems like this person's wish fulfillment, somebody's still holding on to this is what I'm trying to say. I feel like with this star card over here that the third party is still holding on to this even though they got left. Show me the hangman five of cups. Now this person is seeing how this person over here. So there's three five of cups because there's a lot of motherfuckers with regrets here. All three parties have regrets. I feel like this person over here did something that may have abandoned the connection, but they never let go and this person never let go. Now it's like, I see how this person never let go and I want to, and they, they were putting in effort. I see that now. 
It might not have been the type of effort that I wanted them to put in, but I do see they were putting in effort. I now see the effort that they were putting in and how much they had actually really been through with the Nine of Wands over here. Show me the Queen of Cups, Four of Cups. We have the sun here. This Queen of Cups feels rejected because somebody else is happy. Yeah, she got, that is so weird. The fucking sun with the Eight of Cups. And we have the Eight of Cups up here too. But yeah, this seems like a little bit of jealousy to me. Eight of Cups, what's under here? The Hangman. Someone's definitely watching someone become happy. Yeah. This King of Cups. Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands. I'm also getting here too because the Queen of Cups is someone who's very intuitive. I think this person already knew that this part, this King of Cups happiness was somewhere else. These the King and Queen of Cups keep coming up because I feel like there was a false twin flame that was some type of trauma bond or karmic situation that wasn't meant to last. Show me this eight of, eight 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 of Cups eight of Wands. Seven of, seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody could have felt like this um, third party had options too. And they decided to cut it off and be single. Yeah, they ended it for good. They no longer wanted to invest in this because this person had options and they felt like this person was trying to trap them in something as well. All these eights, I don't see like five eights now. All right, show me the 10 of wands, justice in reverse and eight of pentacles. Well, we have the eight of pentacles here twice as well. Knight of wands. Yeah, this person could have left putting in the work. This person over here, person A, might have been fleeting in their energy and they didn't put in any work and effort here. And it wasn't fair. It created a burden. And I think they're starting to realize that. I think they've learned that. That this person over here went through some shit. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords. They didn't use their better judgment. They did something here that caused them to leave this situation with this twin flame. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Now they're telling this person that they want a new opportunity with them. They want a chance. <laughs> we have Temperance over here, and then we have Temperance ending, beginning over here. So this person is wanting another chance to balance this out and make things right. To alchemize and turn this heartbreak around. Now we have the King of Cups, Lord, at the bottom of the deck. Wow. King and Queen of Cups at the bottom of the decks. I can tell you this. These two people are keeping their situation quiet, their home life, their happiness, their love quiet because somebody is fucking pissed that these two are together. I'm telling you that right now. All right, let's clarify this last time on this side. Then we'll pull some Romance Angels. Temperance and Six of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. Yeah, somebody, this person also wants to balance things out. They want to make, they want to reciprocate and they're, they're moving. They want to move this forward too. They wanted to this whole time. Now this person is realizing that and they want to balance things out and move forward too. 
They might have not always said this, though. Show me the seven of wands, two of wands. The page of cups. Somebody could be apologizing here. Or this, this is giving me that a uh, new love blocked this path here. And I already shuffled, so I don't know what was at the bottom. All right, show me the six of wands, three of swords. We have the ace of cups coming out. Wow, so we got the hangman in reverse over here. So somebody saw, they recognized that somebody could have success or was successful. Somebody was getting a lot of attention and this broke their heart. And they saw that they didn't want to lose this person. Yeah, they realized that they wanted this ending to transform. They no longer wanted to being the seven of swords, they saw their happily ever after with this person. This person could have been getting a lot of attention and it just wasn't what they really wanted. It wasn't their ace of cups. Their heart was broken because they didn't have this ace of cups. We have temperance coming out again. So this is the third time we're seeing temperance as well. So now there's a path to choose here again. It's kind of almost like um, somebody had to double back on this crossroads in order to balance this out. This required somebody going back and admitting their mistake and then going, choosing the right path. Yeah, nine of cups in reverse. They're, they're realizing that what they went to wasn't what they really wanted. Justice in reverse. Knight of wands. <laughs> All right, show me this. Nine of wands, six of cups. And then we have the seven of wands showing up for the third time here as well, too. There was a lot of blockages, I feel, for this person over here. There was more than one blockage here. And they're recognizing that. They're they're on top of it now. They're they're not stuck anymore, though. They're, they see clearly now because the chariot is here and this hangman keeps coming out in reverse. This person sees clearly all the blockages that was stopping this connection. There's also something about this connection that this person is wanting to protect as well. The Seven of Wands is talking about protection as well. So that could be another reason why this is being kept quiet. And now we have the King of Pentacles here showing up. There we are with the third party. Well, now we got a couple third parties. We got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there's some family here that could have been blocking. There's a third party as far as a love, romantic interest that could have been blocking this. It was like setback after setback. That's why this Nine of Wands is here. But this person, person B over here on this side, held on to this too. They knew. There was still deep in there. Um remnants of love might have had to be reawakened though all right let's do some romance angels i kind of want to dive in into this third party yeah i'm going to pull a couple cards on this third party and they're just going to be straight to the point Matter of fact, let's use Kipper. We'll use Kipper for the third party. Because I feel like somebody's wanting to start some trouble here. 
I really do. I'm hearing something about some accusations. Show me what else. Show me this bushfires. What's going on? We got community. We got change again coming out. So this is the second time we're seeing change. And we have great fortune. I feel like somebody's family and friends are getting ready to switch up on them. It's what I'm getting. Because somebody found a great fortune here. Somebody found their soulmate. And I feel like some people are about to get ready to switch up here. This could even be somebody's mother not wanting us to come back together. I'm also getting that um, somebody's family and friends could be passing judgment on this situation too. Why am I getting like burned at the state type energy? What the fuck? Tell me about community. Completion. Hmm. Somebody's done fucking with some, yeah, somebody's done listening to family, friends, third parties, whatever they're going within. They're turn, tuning into themselves to get their advice. Show me this change. That's what the change is. And then we have Eight of Swords guilt. Somebody feels really... change again change something major is changing here yeah somebody's changing their perception of something because they realize people were projecting their bullshit onto this connection now they're going with the flow of it show me great fortune yeah somebody's great fortune is everybody else's sorrow and they're aware of this now whoa there's been some type of huge fucking realization. I'm surprised we did not see the tower. So, so there was people here that really chose sides. I'm getting with whoever this third party was, was kind of like a non-factor. They were more like a pawn in the game. Hmm. So it was kind of like a setup almost. to get this person to change their mind about their twin flame. Heavy Archon vibes here. They were making somebody feel guilty too here. All right, let's see person A. Y'all know these twin flame reads go a little bit longer. You deserve love, this person over here, realize they do deserve love. You are lovable. We have keep an open mind and healing family issues. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Keep an open mind. Your soul may may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, so this person over here that had the third party, most likely that had to walk away from it, realized that uh, it's like uh, their family expected them to be with a certain type of person, but the person that's their twin flame is different than those people. And so they were ostracized for it is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. yeah, it says keeping up with my family issues you deserve love this person really loved them and they realize that show me person B this person over here has found a lot of true alignment within themselves and now this person is having the opportunity to find that alignment as well 
finances and career. This person could have been blocking this person out because of finances and career. Financial issues are affecting your love life. There could have been a struggle with finances and career with these two trying to come together in the past. And we have new love. This person could have invited new love into their life and it just wasn't the right path. It could have delayed this a little bit longer. And I think that the hangman showed up over here in the uh, reverse because they realized now like, oh shit, I, you know, they have to take accountability. Like I, I tried to walk away from this and choose a different path and it wasn't the right one. And then we have wedding. Reconciliation at the bottom. I cannot believe it. I cannot fucking believe it. Am I right or right? We have deception and make the effort underneath that. Yeah, somebody was trying to tell somebody not to reunite here. Not to reconcile with their person. Bad advice. This has been coming up in all the readings, though. Every reading that I've been getting has been coming up. All right, let's see what spirit angels have for you. Helpful people. Yeah, right. But I do feel like somebody's angels are watching over this. Big happy changes. There we are with the word change again for the fourth time. Wow. Somebody's spirit guides and angels are helping this. I'm also getting with this card now that I'm looking at it again and the community card has come out. This is keeping people out your business, only telling them a little bit because they're going to try to burn this shit down. So if you only tell them what you know, that's not going to be able to be affected. That's what I'm getting here. It's on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know. And we have there's, there's something better. Both of these people and forgiveness. Wow. Wow. So yeah, this is definitely two twin flames that are coming back together. They are probably back together now. If they're not together now, they're going to be together like soon. For real. We have the king and queen of cups. This is true love. I think... When I have pulled that um, king and queen, and it, it's spirit is not letting me move on because it keeps coming back to me when I seen at the bottom of the deck on this side, the king and queen of cups and the devil was in between them. That is usually the issue that's stopping the twin flames from coming together. It's right on the devil card. It's the devil with two people chained together at the bottom. Those are the lovers. Those are the twin flames. And whatever the third party is, which is AKA the devil, is what's stopping them from coming together. So yes, there probably was a third party here. I'm definitely feeling that heavily, but those two are meant to be together, the King and Queen of Cups. Definitely getting that somebody had to leave someone though, a third party for sure. We have work through your fears. There is a lot of fears that's gonna be surrounding this situation because there's multiple people involved. There's family involved, third parties involved. This person has fears because of all they went through. This person has fears of all they went through. Expect powerful change for the fifth time. Change. For the fifth time. Change. Expect powerful change. This is very, a very powerful. Something major is changing. These two are coming back together right now. What do you need to release? Yeah, somebody needed to release something or someone for sure. And nothing will come of that situation. Nothing will come of the situation. I think somebody had to realize that that situation wasn't going nowhere. It wasn't growing. It wasn't nothing. They needed a change. Let me look at all the cards that said change, 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 change. There was one more. I know it was. Where 
where else? We got four right here. One, two, three, four. I think that's the only ones I can find that say change. I thought it was five though. But here they all are. Anyway, that is your reading. <laughs> Twin Flames, that is what I have for you. This is so beautiful. These two coming back together, reconciling, coming back in to do their work. This is just a very beautiful reading, and I love it. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you on the next one.